Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your weekly tarot card forecast for June 26th through July 2nd, 2016. As always, I'm going to pull three cards from the tarot card deck, one for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. <laughs> okay, well, we'll work with what we got. Let's get going here. Okay. I like to be of the mindset that if they jump out of my hands, if it's like one, it means that's the card that wants to come up. But if they just all fall, then unless I'm told otherwise, I let them be because they're not the cards for this week. So this week in our work and financial life, we have the judgment card upright. And this is telling me to advise you to follow your passion. You are meant to do great things, and maybe you're not living up to your potential. Maybe you need to be doing more than you're actually doing. Um, if you're in a job that you don't like or a field that you don't like, start pursuing other avenues if you haven't already, or just take the next bold steps to try and go after what you want. Um, you're supposed to be doing more than what you're doing. So go after it. In your love and romantic life, we have the Six of Pentacles upright. And this is a yes answer. Definite, definitive, yes answer. So if there's someone that you are interested in asking out on a date, definitely ask them this week. Um, it's going to be a, a positive answer, uh, probably a positive date as well. Um, this also could mean that there are unex unexpected gains in what, whatever way you understand that, however that plays out in your life, in your romantic life specifically. So whatever you're trying to work on, if you're in a coupled relationship, maybe you're trying to reignite a spark or trying to figure out a conflict between the two of you or, you know, whatever you've got going on, there is... Unexpe unexpected gains made this week in your love life. And for your home and family life, we have the Four of Cups upright. And I think we got this last week, but I think it was in a different area of life. But if I'm recalling, we had a message last week that you maybe weren't seeing things that you were supposed to be seeing. You were kind of in denial about things. Um, this is a carryover message from that. You perhaps are still not willing to see what is right in front of you. And the message is to not focus on lack. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on um, what's right in front of you and what's being offered to you. You know, this is being offered to him and he's not paying any attention to it. So um, focus on the things that you have. See things for what they are for the way they are. Don't try to sweep things under the rug. Pay attention to what's going on around you and make sure you're seeing the whole picture. That is the message for this week. I know it's a kind of a fast one this week, <laughs> which you may actually enjoy better. Sometimes I can drone on. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a tarot card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.